Okay, so today we're going to tell you how you can remove the redundant Cortana, which has been now replaced by Copilot from your Windows 10 computer. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So today we're going to talk about how you can remove the redundant virtual assistant Cortana from your Windows 10 computer. This has now been replaced by Copilot. And if you try and go into Cortana, it just simply doesn't work. You get this message. Cortana in Windows as a standalone app is depreciated. And you can click on learn more and find out more about how it's been replaced with Copilot. But as I say, we're going to show you how you can remove it from Windows 10. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, Cortana has finished. It's now been retired on Windows 10 and Windows 11 been replaced with Copilot. So how do you get rid of it? Well, I'm just going to shut this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the Cortana window if it's open. Then just go down to the Windows Start button, click on it. And if you see Cortana in there, move your mouse over it, click on the button on the right hand side of your mouse, not the left, and you'll get this sub, sub menu come up and then left click uninstall. If you can't see that, then click on settings just down there, the settings cog, and then click on settings again. That'll bring up this. Scroll down until you see apps, click on that, and then scroll down until you see Cortana. Left click once on that, left click on uninstall. Now, if uninstall is grayed out there, then what you do need to do is make sure that you've got all the latest Windows updates. And to do that, if you just click on home and just go down to update and security, and then just click on check for updates and just like I say, follow that through until you've got all the latest updates. You might have to do this a few times before Windows is up to date. It's only in recent updates that Microsoft have now allowed you to remove Cortana before it was blocked out, it was grayed out. So make sure that you've got all the latest updates. Like I say, once you've done that, go back to apps, find Cortana, it might, take a little while for the list to build up. Once you see it, left click once on it and then left click once on uninstall and left click once on the second uninstall and then that will completely uninstall it from your Windows 10 computer. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. You'll see my Amazon shop down there with all the stuff that I've liked on Amazon recently, along with links for a new Fire TV stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire Stick accessories, and even VPNs. If you're in the market for any of those, please consider using those links down below. Donating, buying, and subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through these videos, you see something that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.